Hello and welcome to another ARK Survival Evolved Taming video. I am Winslow and today we're going after the armored personal tank, the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus regium was a herding herbivore that lived in the late Jurassic time period. It has distinctive rows of plates along its spine, a total of 22 paired plates. They also have six large spikes on their tails, commonly referred to as a thagomizer. The stego can be found in most of the plains and forest biomes on the island. It can also commonly be seen in hills, but will rarely go up high in elevation. On the island, the stego will travel in small family units. It is not uncommon to see between two and five stegos within proximity to one another, so be careful. Attacking one will cause all of them to defend one another. After the recent TLC update, they can also easily take out a hungry rex. It is important when engaging a stego to make sure you have ample room to maneuver. It will cause you a knockback when it hits you with its tail, and can also impale you. The impale is the same as what a Kentrosaurus does. Once you've got it knocked out though, it's very similar to other knockout tames. Just feed it regular kibble and keep it protected. I choose usually to surround it with spikes, assuming there aren't Parasaurs or Bronto around. This stego on 4 times taming took 7 kibble to fully tame. Let's watch while I take this one down. Make sure and keep your shield ready. After it's awake and saddled, you're ready for harvesting. The stego can easily harvest wood, thatch, and berries, depending on what plate setting it's at. By pressing C, you can cycle through the different plate modes. Hardened plate will shield the rider from attacks. While riding the stego, you cannot be dismounted. It also gives a 4-star rating for harvesting wood. Heavy plate will deal more crippling blows and a 4-star rating for harvesting thatch. Lastly, Sharpened Plate will pierce armor and give a 4-star rating for harvesting berries and cactus sap. The Stego also boasts a 75% weight reduction for both berries and cactus sap. An imprinted, mate-boosted, and saddled Stego in Hardened Plate mode will have the highest damage reduction in the game. A proper herd of them can even tank Wild Gigas. The Stego is an excellent choice to take into the boss arenas especially on Aberration. The Stego will provide the Rider with protection against many of the attacks in the arena, and since you can use Rider weaponry, it can allow you to safely battle against the boss. They can also easily kill Rexes, Parasurs, and Spinos without even being touched, due to their knockback and the range of their tail swipe. The Stego is also a favorite in PvP. They can impale survivors and will shred armor. They can also be used to soak up turret damage. Bring two or three of them imprinted with a mate boost and they will easily drain turrets without really even being hurt. Overall, the Stegosaurus is one of the best tames in Ark. Its only downside is its speed, but that is to be expected. After the recent TLC update, they are now one of the most versatile and self-sufficient tames. Thanks for watching this Ark Survival Evolve taming video. I am Winslow, and if you found this guide helpful, please consider leaving a like. I have taming videos coming out on weekdays, and I can be seen live on Twitch on Saturdays starting at 2pm Eastern. I greatly appreciate your time and support, and we'll catch up next time.